Hello and welcome to episode 5 of my weekly album review series in which I talk about some albums I listened to this week. Now the first one up was Pretties For You by Alice Cooper. This one's from 1969 and it's pretty bizarre. It's um, not kind of what you would expect of Alice Cooper but um, this one's the debut by Alice Cooper and it sounds a bit more like um, early Pink Floyd with Sid Barrett. It's kind of very, very weird stuff. Okay, after that was Groovy by Red Garland. Now, Red Garland is a jazz pianist, and uh, he's very, very good, that one. Yeah, it's got like Sea Jam Blues, Gone Again, Will You Still Be Mine, Willow Weep For Me, what can I say, dear, and hey now? Just six tracks, but uh, they're all pretty good. It's from 1957, that one. Okay, after that, Yes, um, Time and a Word by Yes. Now, this was the second album by Yes from 1970, and contains no opportunity necessary, no experience needed, which was a cover of a Richie Havens song. It also has Sweet Dreams, The Prophet, Astral Traveller, Time and a Word. But the one that I really, really like on this one is Every Days, which is the cover of an old um, Buffalo Springfield song. But it just sounds fantastic, that one. Yeah. So that's, um, that's Yes, Time and a Word. Okay, after that one was... Um, Frank Sinatra, Sinatra and Swing and Brass. Now that's one's from 1962, and that's another um, Sinatra album with a big band. Plenty of swing. Um, yeah, that one was good. Uh, after that was Julie London, Latin in a Saturn Mood. Now that was um, one with a Latin flavour, yeah, kind of easy listening, cruisy uh, one. That was from 1963. Okay, after that I listened to Untitled by the Birds. It's a um, great um, double album. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a great album by the Birds and uh, the one that's really nice on that one is Lover of the Bayou. That one is, is so good. Um, it's got a great sound, that, that, that song, yeah. The um, Roger McGuinn co-wrote a lot of those songs with um, Jacques Levy. And uh, they were originally supposed to be for a musical they were writing called um, Gene Trip. But um, that was never actually ever made. And uh, it's, a, it's a double album. The, the first record is um, a live concert, whereas um, Side 3 and Side 4 is a studio record. And um, has some songs like um, So You Want to Be a Rock and Roll Star, Mr. Tambourine Man, Mr. Spaceman. They do a cover of um, Bob Dylan's Positively Fourth Street. And um, also, the entire side two is a 16 minute long version of Eight Miles High, which just goes all over the place. It's mainly instrumental. Um, the really, really, really nice song on this that I love is um, Chestnut Mare, the one about trying to catch the horse. Now that, that one is just so good. Also, um, Just a Season is good too. What I didn't like so much was um, just the end of Welcome Back Home. It kind of just drags on a, li a little bit too long, I think. But um, overall, that, that album's quite good. That's from um, 1970, that one. And after that, I listened to Nancy Wilson, Today, Tomorrow, Forever, from 1964. Now, yeah very tasteful, very nice. Uh, she's got such a great voice, Nancy Wilson. And then 
Benny Green walking and talking. Now Benny Green's a jazz trombonist. And uh, this one has songs like The Shouter, Green Leaves, This Love of Mine, Walking and Talking, All I Do Is Dream of You and Hoppin' Johns. Just six tracks, but um, yeah, he's, he's great on the trombone, that um, Benny Green. So that one was from 1959. Uh, after that one was... Harry Nilsson, The Point. Now this one is um, an unusual record because it's, uh, it's kind of half story, half songs. It's the story of a town where everyone has a pointed head, all except for this one person who gets banished. And it's all a story about that. All the songs kind of feed into that. It's got uh, Me and My Arrows, probably the... Um, most well-known one from that. But yeah, Harry Nilsson does the narration in that one. And the, and the singing, that was from 1971. Okay, um, after that one I listened to um, Discovery by Vicky Carr. And uh, another one with a very um, nice um, voice, very, very sweet. And... Um, yeah, that, that was good, yeah. Then Stan Kenton, Standards in Silhouettes, where he does a whole lot of standards in a big band style. Um, plenty of trombones, trumpets, saxophone, very, very nice saxophone in this album. It's very kind of, it's very mellow. I think um, this would be great to listen to late at night. Yeah, great one. Um, it's from 1959, that one. And was a, a very nice one, especially uh, yeah. Django was great, and um, yeah, Willow Weep for Me. The thrill is gone. The meaning of the blues when Sonny gets blue. It's got ones like those. Um, yeah, I get along without you very well. Yeah, so that's that's a nice one from Stan Kenton. Okay, then. I listen to Master of Reality, that's um, Black Sabbath, and uh, I think, yeah, that's that's the third third Black Sabbath album, isn't it? Um, Sweet Leaf, um, Children of the Grave, yeah, After Forever, After Forever's um, fantastic, yeah, it's, an, it's a very nice one. Um, also some, it's got some acoustic guitar kind of pieces as well as the heavy stuff. But yeah, he's got such a great voice on those, hasn't he? Yeah. Master of Reality. Um, that one is from 1971. Okay. After that one I listened to The Lonely Hours by Sarah Vaughan. And it's another one of these ones where they uh, have a whole lot of kind of um, breakup, um, very sentimental kind of stuff. Yeah, very um, very sad, melancholic kind of sound. But yeah, I, I just love that kind of sound, yeah. That one was from 1964 and it was great, yeah. She's got such such a, a wonderful voice and um, then I listened to another Stan Kenton this one was New Concepts of Artistry and Rhythm and uh, I think that was from 1953 and um, it's got some unusual um, stuff there like um, the one about this is an orchestra where it kind of goes through all the members of the uh, orchestra the trombonist trumpets, um, drums and bass, and uh, introduces all the members of the orchestra. Yeah, but um, yeah, that, that one was good. Um, okay, after that, the uh, great um, David Bowie pinups. And uh, this was um, Bowie's album from 19... Uh, 1973 and uh, 
it's all um, covers that he did of other artists that he admired. And uh, the one that really is great on this one is Sorrow. Such a fantastic song, that one, yeah. But he also does uh, I Can't Explain, um, a Who song, the Easy Beats, Friday on My Mind, um, Here Comes the Night, the uh, Pink Floyd, um, See Emily Play, uh, Where Have All the Good Times Gone. Yeah, this is kind of like, um, it's kind of like the end of the um, Ziggy Stardust era. After this, he went on to do um, Diamond Dogs with a bit of a different sound, but yeah, it's quite nice, that one. David Bowie pinups. Okay, uh, then I listened to The Supremes with We Remember Sam Cooke. That's one of theirs from 1965, and uh, it's all a whole lot of... Um, Sam Cook covers. It's after after Sam Cook died, and uh, yeah, they um, do like Chain Gang and um, Wonderful World. Yeah, that's quite nice. Um, after that, I listened to Nina Simone, one from nineteen sixty five. I put a spell on you. And yeah, yeah, and that one, her voice is just fantastic on that, yeah. The songs on that were, were good, yeah. I, I really enjoyed that one, Nina Simone. Um, after that one was John Denver, Back Home Again. And uh, this, is, this has a whole lot of well-known stuff, like Back Home Again, Grandma's Featherbed, Thank God I'm a country boy, and um, Sweet Surrender, it's a f few well-known ones on that one, and um, a lot of um, a lot of banjo, um, fiddle, yeah, yeah. So um, that that one's good, yeah. So um, a lot of acoustic guitar, yeah, on that one. Oh yeah, and um, Annie's song, another another well-known one from that. That one was from uh, 1974. Okay, after that, the uh, last one I listened to was uh, Linda Scott, Hey Look At Me Now by Linda Scott from 1965. And uh, I think, I'm pretty sure she only put out like three albums, and I think that was her last one. Uh, not sure, but... Um, but yeah, she was she was good. Yeah, I enjoyed that. And uh, that's the uh, show for this week. Thank you for watching. And um, this has been my weekly album review. And hope to see you again sometime. Bye.